It's important not to push too early. When you start pushing, your cervix should be fully dilated and the baby's head should have come all the way down to the pelvic floor muscles, almost at the entrance of your vagina. Most women feel that pushing is a relief. It's the end of your labour and you will soon see your baby. For some women, pushing makes the contractions easier to handle and you can also use your body more actively. Pushing in different positions, for example standing up, kneeling or on your side, gives the baby plenty of space to come out as you relax your bottom and thighs and gravity can be of a little help too. Your midwife can help suggest some good positions for you, but you're more than welcome to say how you'd like to give birth. When you're pushing, the baby's head will come forth and then slide a little back in between contractions. This way, your vagina slowly expands and makes way for your baby. Each push will make it easier for you to push your baby that little bit further. You only push when you're having a contraction. Your baby's head needs to pass under your pubic bone. Once it's done this, the head doesn't slide back and the birth is very close. At this time, there's an intense atmosphere in the labour room and it's a special time for everyone present. The midwife and the labouring women are working together, the midwife most often telling the woman when to push and when to breathe. The partner taking part in the labour by helping the woman Apart from working together with the woman, guiding her and helping her to push, she also listens to the baby's heart rate and makes sure that everything is as it should be. If anything arises that isn't normal, the midwife will let you know. Once the baby's head has passed under your pubic bone, it's important that your baby's head slide out slowly to try and prevent vaginal tears. This is done by the midwife supporting your perineum with one hand, using the other to hold back on your baby's head a little bit. Meanwhile, the midwife will guide you to push and breathe when is needed. The feeling of the baby's head coming out is a burning sensation, which for some can be painful as well. Sometimes the baby's head is born during a contraction, and then you wait for the body to come with the next contraction. Other times the baby is born in one contraction. Both ways are completely normal. When a baby is born, it might not scream straight away, even though it's perfectly well. A newborn baby can also be a little bluish and perhaps a bit floppy. All this is quite normal and will most often change in the first minute after the baby is born. If it doesn't, the midwife will check your baby and if needed, call a paediatrician. But most often the baby just needs a few minutes to realise that it's been born. If your baby have a swelling on its head after your birth, it will go away within the first couple of days. Already after a few hours you will notice that the swelling have gone. Already after a few hours you will notice that the swelling have gone down a bit. Only in very few babies the swelling will persist for more than one month, but it's still something that goes away by itself and is normal.